before I asked, what was your favorite, what's the best Velvet Underground album? Oh yeah. Because we've been talking about it before, and there's another band where we talk about what their favorite album, what their best album is, which which I think could be quite interesting to talk about. Almost almost a, a, a like humorously uh, stereotypical one. What is the best Radiohead album? Oh. oh! Oh! I think that's more difficult than the Velvet Underground one. Be correct. So there are eight Radiohead albums. I don't know. I'm going to have to think. So there's Pablo there's, Honey. There's Pablo Honey, V. Benz. OK, Computer. Okay, computer Kid A. Kid A. Amnesiac. Hail to Hail the Chief. Thief. Thief. Um, In Rainbows. And The King of Limbs. Yeah, so eight. There is eight. Yeah. Eight. So we can instantly disqualify Pablo Honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pablo Honey is at best middling. Yeah. Yes. It's I a... mean, like, there, there's something about the. Um, I do kind of. I have a soft spot for Creep. Creep is an awful song. No, I've got a major soft spot for it. It's so, like, early 90s, it's kind of adorable. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you couldn't get away with lyrics like that now. We just laughed at. <laughs> yeah. uh, but with something so horribly earnest about it, I kind of like it. Um, <laughs> Refuse to play that live now. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No See if that was a surprise to anyone. Mercury. Get off the stage, York. Well, one that's definitely not in my list of uh, ones to consider is Hell to the Thief, of course. I don't think that's anywhere near as good as the other ones. No. Hell to the Thief, I think, is a very good album. Yep. But it goes on for about four songs too long. That's true. It's, what, 16 songs or something? Yeah. yeah. It could have been done with having four songs cut out and been resequenced into a really tight 45, 50 minute album. And it I think it has better. some of their best songs though. Like, There There's great. Yeah. Mixomatosis I like and um, Wolf at the Door. So oh, I like that song, yeah. There are some amazing tracks on that. It's it's an 8 out of 10 instead Don't of a 10. In, so I think that can get cut off. Now, I've got a controversial one I don't think deserves to be considered. King of Limbs. Yeah. I know you're a big fan of the album. I really like King of Limbs. Yeah. It's, um... I appreciate the return to more experimental ambient music. Yeah. And I really like it. Uh, but one of the Gallagher's famous said, like, Oh, no, we're just singing about trees. <laughs> this, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just thinking about trees. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like, he, he said something like, oh, I'll listen to a new Radiohead album. It's like, just thinking about trees, it's just like, oh, fuck us. Why would that be an inherent that's <laughs> criticism anyway? It's just a description of content. Yeah. Be like, oh, I hate, I hate this milk. Some cows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, King of Limbs is exactly the kind of album I think people would want from Radiohead. Yeah. And oddly enough, I think that's what makes it less in the running because it's not quite as surprising. Plus, it's very slight. It's all, I think it passes by, and you think it's good when it's on, but it's not a thing that leaves as lasting an impression as the good ones, the yeah. great ones. I do love Lotus Flower. Oh, amazing track. Lotus Flower is one of Radiohead's best songs. It's got a real creepy vibe to it. Yeah. And I love Tom York. Tom York. I love Tom York's uh, uh, vocals, yeah. especially when he hits the high notes. Some of you attempt it, are you? Lotus Flower. Yeah. It's, uh, the music video is really fun as well. Yeah. Because I do is do that weird dance or whatever. No, I, I really like Lotus Flower. It's a great song. It is a great song. Um. So yeah. So that leaves us with the Benz, OK Computer, uh, Kid A, yep. and Amnesia. Amnesia, I think, can go in Rainbows. I. Oh, it's a difficult one for me because like I I love Amnesia. Yeah. I mean, like you know, obviously we're all including on the list, obviously because we're picking the best one. Yeah. Um. You know, like, I don't disqualify them as they're not great albums. I mean, it's like, for me, it's like a 10 out of 10 album. I think it's great, yeah. I've, it's Really underappreciated. It's one that really grows on you. Yeah. You know, you first listen to it, it just sounds like kind of scout shot. But, like, I, I really love it. I love the weird atmosphere to it. I love Packed in a Tin, like Sardines. Yeah. You know, the opening line of, um, I'm a reasonable band, get off my case, get off my case. And after so long waiting. I love the weird, like, percussion, like, dong. Dong, da dong, dong. I have a pyramid song. Oh, that's one of their best. That's a stunning song. Get chills. And I love um, the, that, that song where it's a. Uh, um, I love that riff. It's a. You and whose army? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. 
No, it's not that one. It's another one. Yeah. Um, there's loads of great ones on there. The Human one I Human really Human. love on there is um, yeah, you can love it. Well, there's two. I, I really, I think this is an album that grows if you listen to it all the way. Yeah, that's it. Really builds up to um, like spinning plates, which oh, is I love a that classic. One. Is it that one? It's, it's like where it a, goes, like spinning plate. No, it's got barely any kind of instrument. The instrumentation what, what, is like what's a. What's that one? What's where it's like? Oh, it, you know the angels fly, water. Is it the one where it's like the lakes are like, let's go down to the waterfall, have ourselves a good time, have a ball or something? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that one's yeah. amazing. That. That's actually probably my favourite one over there yeah. as well. Um, uh, Amnesiac is amazing. I might be piece. wrong. I might be wrong. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 That's dun, one they can get crossed off. Dun, dun. I might be wrong, live recordings. <laughs> yeah. Have yeah. you ever heard that? No. That is a really, really weird album because it's like it's only thirty-two minutes long, I think. Oh, so, Knives Out, that's it. That knives Out. Like, dun, 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 dun. I think so. Anyway, every song on there is a classic. I, I, I love them all. I love the last song. Yeah, uh, Life in a Glass House. Where we get like a full band. In. That's the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so yeah, I love Amnesia. It's got a really weird atmosphere. It was unfairly dubbed as being like Outcasts from Kid A. Yeah, which it is. It is, it was ironically called Kid B. Kid like, B. Like there were loads of ones where it, hit, where it was um, oh. Kid B with a question mark. Oh dear. I mean, I, I, I love it. It's great. I love our music. It's got such a weird atmosphere. The songs, the individual songs are great. It's got some of career highlights for me. Yeah. But we can scratch that one off. I think we can also scratch off the Benz. I disagree. Oh. Actually, if, right, so I think what, because these four are the sort of pinnacle ones, Yeah. I think it's best now to sort of, instead of crossing them off, watch the fourth favourite one. Oh, God. It's almost like the Velvet oh, Underground okay. now, because okay. it's like, you can, I think my fourth one's definitely going to be different from your fourth one. What's your fourth one first? My fourth one is the Benz. My fourth one's OK Computer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think it's as good as, because I, re I recently re-listened to it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's an amazing album, OK Computer. Easily one of the best ever made. It's just the fourth when, best. When people ask me which band I prefer, if it was so blur, I say Radiohead. <laughs> well, OK Computer was Radiohead at their biggest. That's it, yeah. It completely caught on to a sort of like... Um, it hit the zeitgeist. Yes. It's one of the albums where it just it came out at the perfect time, basically. Yeah. You know, dawn of the millennium. Um, the, the fake promises of new labour. Yeah. Uh, these kind of cock rock, kind of <laughs> British invasion bands. The world was at a massive turning point. Technology was on the rise. People were getting this thing called the internet. Yeah. And they were worried about further social alienation. And Radiohead happened to make this perfect album at a perfect time. Yeah. Um, I love it. It's a star. I love OK Computer. Definitely one of those kind of albums that make you realise the power of the album. Yeah. It's a great one to listen to when you first get into music. Yeah. Um, it's got Airbag, which is stunning, Paranoid Android, Subterrain, Homesick Alien. <laughs> We're just um, going to list the whole track list. I'm, I'm going to forget the whole thing, yeah. yeah. Um, it's got um, Let Down. Da uh, Let Down, I think, is my, is my favourite Radiohead song. I love that song. Um, the, the, the best bit's where it's like, um, with the drums kicking. After the third, after we do the chorus for the first time, hanging around and then boom, yeah. Totally, <laughs> I am cold. Oh my god, love yeah. it. Um, and you know, it's got the classic single, um, um, No Surprises, yeah, which still hits home a lot. Uh, Karma Police, oh, too many great songs. Every one, apart from that one, which is like fitter, happier, fitter, stronger, happier, I more think, productive. I think, controversially, you know, get your pitchforks out, the album loses its way on the second half a little bit still great but electioneering i don't think is as strong as all the other songs as again paranoid um fitter happier stronger that one i don't think is it was it's all it's good during the course of the album but obviously it's not one you listen to outside of it um i just don't think it ends as well as it begins okay i still think as 10 out of 10 still one of the best albums ever <laughs> it's just because of how great songs like let let, let down and um, how the police are and just how amazing the first half is I don't think it lives up to it I also don't think it's as listenable as in, in Rainbows and enjoyable or as experimental as Kid A um, and uh, I just prefer the Benz <laughs> anyway so your fourth is the Benz my fourth is the Benz yes. um, the Benz is like Radiohead perfecting classic rock music Yeah. 
it's like you can't get a more perfect alternative rock album than Ben's. Yeah. Like they they pretty much mastered that, and it made sense for them just to move on and experiment. You know, it would have been very. I'm sure they were more than capable of just doing like Ben's two. Yeah. But we kind of chose not to. Yeah. But you got some great songs on there, like uh, Planet Talics <laughs> and uh, Fake Plastic Trees. Yeah. Uh, High and Dry. Uh, Star. Uh, what was it called? Um, St uh, Spirit, Street Spirit, Street Spirit, Fade to Black, or whatever it's called. That's yeah. amazing. I love that song. Um, and uh, my own lung. Down, 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 down. Yes. Great riff. Um, well, the Benz is my um, third favorite. Okay, so we yeah. might as well talk about it at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. For all those reasons, it's perfect, perfect classic rock. A it's it's one of them albums where every song again feels like a single. Yeah. And every one every one sort of works within itself. I admit, as an album, it probably doesn't hang together as well as OK Computer. But I think the fact that the songs I personally think are better, I think it's just a more it's it's a really again I think it sort of sums up the times again pretty well. Yeah. Well, keeping a sort of t like timeless quality to it. Great album. <laughs> Yeah. So which is your third favourite? Oh uh, man, this is where it gets So you've got to choose now between oh In God. Rainbows, Kid oh. A and OK Computer. That's hard. Oh my God. You can edit around this. <laughs> yes. Oh man. So like, I wish I had some time to prepare for this, but I guess this is, I'm on my spot right you're on, now. You're on the cuff now. I'm on the cuff. If you thought, you might think too critically. Into... I know, that, that's it, yeah. yeah you I should might... go the first one that just pops into my head. Yeah. Um, so you're on a desert island, which which two do you take if you can only take two? My third one's Kid A. Kid A? Okay. No, oh no. <laughs> oh. Are these all like just archetype classics? They're, they're just, they're, they're like such staples of like my teenage years, yeah. They're like I, my, my teenage and my university years, I just can't like. Yeah. I can't separate them. They're such like free albums, which are just like yeah, so important to me. Um, I remember when in Rain I got I bought in Rainbows when it came out. Really? I even bought it in a CD. Oh, even oh though, yes, yeah. I used to have that. Yeah, because I sold the CD to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, because um. In Rainbows is intrinsically linked to its release. Whoa, well, yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm... Um, I'm gonna go with Kid A. Kid A is I'm number three. I'm sticking to Kid A as my number three. Yeah.